What's up folks, Photo Me Ike here, back at it again. And this time, I am doing a little bit of the verses. So basically, long story short, my friend Tristan, who you've seen with me in a few videos, he has the Canon RP, and he recently purchased the 35 and the 85, and he also has the 50 as well. So he has like the three primes, the three kings and the primes. I have the Z5 on loan from Nikon, and I also own the 35 and the 85 and the 50, the 1.8s. So I thought it'd be cool to do a comparison between the two cameras since they both are kind of in the same range as far as the lineup with the manufacturers. Being this is like more of an entry level, this is kind of an enthusiast entry level. So full frame cameras. And so thought it'd be good to do like a little versus between the two just to kind of see how they both match up as far as image quality, autofocus, you know, how the lenses compare on each camera. And so I reached out to a baddie. Okay, Corlin, you guys have seen her before. She's gonna be our model. These are our two cameras. Canon RP versus Nikon Z5. Um, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a clear winner. It's just gonna be whatever you guys decide, but I'll give my commentary while I shoot. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start. You ready? Yeah. It is windy out here, it's a little chilly. So we're gonna try to make this quick because you know, it's windy and- It's a lot yeah. colder than Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot colder out here. So, all right, let's start. Okay, folks, so I am using off-camera flash. Luckily, I have the Westcott system, and the Westcott trigger is universal, and it like goes right on the Canon and an Nikon, so I can use the same trigger for both cameras, which is pretty cool. I just changed the camera set from Canon to Nikon. Uh, I know if you have a Sony, you have to use an adapter, which kind of sucks, but with the Canon and Nikons, it goes straight on. Light is the FJ400. FJ400 is my light, and I'm using the Westcott Octa XL, I believe, which is equivalent to like a 48 inch softbox. So that'll be my source of light. We have a model here. It's an overcast day, so the light will add some pizzazz to the photos. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get started. Turn to me, toward me. Yeah, perfect, just like that. Why am I trying to look through this thing? <laughs> Bring this hand to the to the bow. Yeah. Perfect. Like that. Can you bring the other hand up? How you doing? Perfect.
Pablo's ate shit. <laughs> <laughs> it got me out here in the cold, guys. The next shoot, we're going to the beach. <laughs> yeah, he owes me a beach shoot. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, even though I'm a Nikon guy, I really did enjoy my time shooting with the Canon EOS RP. In fact, this isn't even my first time using the camera. I actually did a studio shoot with it earlier this year, but I haven't edited the video yet. By the way, if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments. To me, the footage was kind of meh, so I just kind of, you know, put it to the side. But if enough people say, please release the video, then maybe I'll try to put something together. But uh, yeah, anyways. In regards to the Canon RP versus the Nikon Z5, I decided to put this video together because both cameras are pretty similar in where they sit in their prospective manufacturer's lineup. They both seem to be in that entry level full frame category. They are currently very similarly priced and have similar features. Now objectively speaking, I believe that the Z5 has a few features that make it technically the better camera of the two. Features like dual card slots, in body image stabilization, better EVF and battery life to name a few. But if you're just looking to pick up something like super affordable and expensive full frame camera, then I don't think any of those missing features on the RP will be a real issue. One thing I can say that was impressive on the Canon was the autofocus. I was impressed by how well it was able to pick up the face and the eye at further distances when the face was relatively small in the frame. I also appreciate that Canon's color science is very good and that the images were easy to edit, which saves a lot of time and frustration at the computer when it's time to edit. And the images were nice and sharp even wide open thanks to the Canon RF lenses, which also performed well. I used both Canon and Nikon's perspective native 35, 50, and 85 millimeter lenses. And while Canon's trio ends up being much less expensive than Nikon's offering, the image quality seemed to be on par in my opinion. Now I didn't test dynamic range or anything like that, but it's known that the Nikon sensors tend to have better dynamic range than the Canon sensors. And I believe that uh, technically the Z5 has a better, much better dynamic range than the RP. Um, but I didn't test that, so I can't say that for sure, for sure. But we can pretty much uh, chalk that up that the Nikon has a better dynamic range. So yeah, in this particular situation, the Canon held up well against the Nikon Z5. I honestly wouldn't be opposed to buying one now on the side to allow for more content variety on this channel. But in general, I still prefer the Nikon system and also wouldn't mind having a Nikon Z5 as a backup to my current Z6 or Z6 II. But what do you think? Are you a Canon or a Nikon shooter? Or neither? Were you impressed by how well either's camera's images turned out? We all know that it's not the camera, it's the person using the cameras, but we all have our preferences as well at the end of the day. So for example, I prefer that you hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below and I'll see you all next time. Thanks.
You got anything to say? My favorite photographer ever. Can you say that louder so they can really? My favorite <laughs> photographer ever. Multiple states now. Well, yeah, we had, I've been following you. You've been following, look. Okay, I almost flew to Alaska. Then. Um, so yeah, I will, yeah, you know, we'll be in touch. But yeah, we gotta, we gotta we'll do this together, again. Yeah. yeah.